Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I will uh, present a brief introduction of product design, development and analysis using a PowerPoint presentation, right? This consists of definition and type of design, product life cycle, new product development process, product design steps. Famous scientist Albert Einstein told that the best design is the simplest one that works. So what does it mean? It means that it is actually supporting our DFA or DFM approaches. That means whatever we are designing, it should serve the purpose with minimum numbers of operations. Like for a specific operation, a specific product, we are having different types of mechanism. It should follow the simplest mechanism. It should serve the purpose. This is our main aim. Okay. First of all, we should tell what is the design. Now, design is basically a decision making process. If we have a specific problem that to be solved. For solving this process, we have to overcome a lot of different processes, different steps. All these steps include the design actually, right? In a different word, we can say that design is basically a decision making process. It is to formulate a plan to satisfy a particular need and to create something with physical reality. It doesn't mean that for designing, it should be tangible, it should be intangible item also. Like suppose we are designing websites, etc. Like we are designing some service criteria. All these are also designing, right? So it is not necessary for being a design. It should be like tangible one. It may be intangible also, right? Okay. Next one we can discuss about what are the different types of design. So types of design you can include like product design, engineering design, industrial design, process design and visual design. Among all these things, we are having very little difference. Like suppose you are considering engineering design. Engineering design is uh, concerned with the design, development and analysis of some device or systems which is designed for basic functionality. If you are talking about industrial design, it designates an independent design effort by the individual with combined abilities in areas such as product design, styling and engineering. Right. And what about product design? Product design, it is associated with specifically those items that are ultimately to be sold to consumers. And what about visual design? It is actually called styling design. It is concerned with the appearance features of an item. And process design, it is usually concerned with the type of design that restricted to the design of components, tools, equipments, etc. That is actually it is for mass production purpose, right? This is all about our different types of designs. Next one, you can go for product life cycle is very, very important for uh, like understanding what type of design is necessary for any product at any different stages. For making the product a long time ago, the research and development of the product started. Actually, If you see the curve in this case, what is happening at the introduction level, you can see when the sales started only as introduction the sales started but before sales started we have invested a lot for the research and development of the product right the curve is going downwards during that time and at different level you can see first level is the introduction that means at this stage only the production has started selling its product right after that we have a different scale that is called growth in this case the rate of uh, selling is very very high very high production rate and by the rate of sales is also very high in this case after that we have maturity maturity is actually is uh, for a uh, long time and at this level the sales is margin is very high is very high but not rate we are talking about sales after some time it will be coming to the decline decline stage that means product sales will be reduced at this level uh, renovation of that model is little bit risky because at this stage if you do any kind of renovation of that model that can be copied by the uh, competitors you are doing a lot of research and development for the renovation of the product 
uh, but that can be copied by their competitors so it is very risky at this project now it can be done little bit of motivation can be done uh, without a lot of investment right this is extension next one you can go for like new product development schemes or processes it is coming from idea generation idea screening concept development and testing marketing strategy business analysis product development test marketing and commercialization first we will talk about this idea generation what it is now when you are starting a new product you have to go for idea thousands of ideas to be collected it can be collected through internally or externally also if you are collecting internally that means you are collecting these ideas from the organization itself while you are working right but it can be obtained from outside also from the customers or from the end users that can be having some kind of idea now with these thousands of ideas what can you do we can cannot use all these ideas so out of all these thousands of ideas we have to find out the best ideas that is coming idea screening that means all the ideas what we found before that one they, all of them may not be feasible considering lot of uh, consideration lot of factors it may not be feasible so considering uh, our limitations and feasibility and we can screen different ideas that is called idea screening after our idea screening concept development and testing is required what is concept development that is when you are getting the feasible ideas if those ideas are presentable then that means a concept is developed those concept developed concept should be tested how that to be tested that can be tested by getting feedbacks from the customers or the end users right so concept development as testing is done testing is done by using the help of the consumers next one is coming marketing strategy when we are getting the feedback from the customers we can start for a marketing strategy that means marketing strategy should be like uh, how we are planning to sell the product how we are planning to market the product how we are planning to initiate the product who will be the specific customers like targeted customer we are planning for the targeted customers also in this way right we are planning for a specific targeted customers and how we are planning to uh, market this product all these strategies will be there right next one is coming business planning or business analysis business analysis it will fix it will determine what will be the cost of that product initially or price of the product should be very nice of course definitely and by the same time we have to see that after how many years we can we can get a profit that means we can go for BEP analysis break even analysis that means after how many years after how many numbers of production we are getting profit that can be analyzed using business analysis when it is done we can go for product development but it is not in the mass scale we can go for prototype or very small scale production we can go for after product development we can go for this test marketing that means we can uh, circulate our product we can distribute our products to the customers or the end users and get the feedback from them if we get a positive feedback then we can go for commercialization that means we can go for bulk production and we can channelize this one through our uh, this uh, different uh, levels we can we can market this one and a mass production right these are the different stages of new product development next one if we talk about product design it is actually uh, consisting of six different stages actually first stage is known as recognition of need definition of second one definition of need third one synthesis fourth one analysis and optimization fifth one is evaluation and final one is presentation right now we'll talk about all these things one by one what is recognition of need it is very simple thing that means first of all we are when we are going for any design or development we have to find out that why you are designing these things and who will be utilizing these things what will be the load utilized on that what will be the purpose of this one what will be the color of this one so a lot of thousands of questions will be there based on that one we have to find out our product now after getting all these thousand questions we have to go for the definition of problem that means we got the solution we got the solution what to be produced who will be the end users and what will be the load what will be the price what will be the material all we are knowing in this definition of problem right 
in the definition of problem we know about the product next one is your synthesis synthesis is actually after getting details about the product we have to go for modeling right we have to sketch it we have to modeling through different softwares right okay next one is coming analysis and optimization and we can do this one using finite element method analysis and optimization what it is if we are applying a specific load on that object whether the object will break or not whether the object will be able to sustain that load or not if it is not sustaining then we go go for redesigning in that case we are having some different approach that is known as uh, parametric design what it is so if the model is failing we have to change one parameter then all the other parameters will be changed accordingly this is parametric media design okay and next one we see is coming simulation that means it is evaluation after this fem analysis we got to evaluation that means critical checking should be done what we have done in our analysis part whether this is correct or not that we checked using evaluation the evaluation can be through experiment also it can be done through theoretical calculation also right next one is coming our cat presentation when we got all these things right ready then we can go for final production of the material final production of the object and that production can be coming from this cad department so what they will do cad department will provide the detailed drawing of the product that means all detailed manufacturing drawing will be presented to this cad facilities this is all about our presentation uh, if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye